Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today let's talk about Star Wars, the teaser trailer for The Last Jedi. Now, what prompted this video? A lot of members in the MAP family want to discuss Star Wars, but they don't want to go to videos or go to channels that talk about leaks or production information, stuff that they haven't given us, stuff that could be seen as spoilery. I hate it when Hollywood puts too much stuff in the trailer. With that said, I am only using information from the teaser trailer and from the previous movie, The Force Awakens, uh, you know, all those Star Wars movies uh, and stuff like that, but uh, I think this trailer it, it was done well. It doesn't give us too much. I'm hoping the main trailer doesn't give us too much. Whenever that drops, we will discuss that. Now, first thing first, we see Rey. She's out of breath, and we hear Luke saying, breathe. Now, I truly feel like this has to do with Rey in the first movie, The Force Awakens, being overpowered, you know? Luke can see everything that's going on, and obviously he decides to put her in check, and he force chokes the bitch. Because in the first in the first movie, in The Force Awakens, she was too strong, she learned how to use the force a little too fast it was a heavy criticism among the the fans and the fan base so i think luke is really putting her in her place here i'm just kidding i think she was probably just um using the force and looking into either her past where she came from unlocking some memories or maybe even looking into the future or looking at something that's happening to her friends now the force awakens mirrored a lot from a new hope and i want the star wars movies to do that i like when movies and shows do that i like when they mirror previous episodes or previous movies but i don't want them to do it too much so if they mirror empire strikes back a little bit with luke and yoda at dagobah in that swamp area and training and then luke leaving to save han and leia they're in trouble and then you have ray and luke in this island area training and then they need to leave because the rebels are in trouble if they do small mirrors like that i'm fine with it but not beat for beat like the force awakens the force awakens was a great success the franchise is back baby you don't need to worry you don't need to play it safe let this be its own thing you know go crazy so I think this might have to do with what she's seeing, you know, just using the force to either see the past, uh, the present, something bad happening, or the future, maybe. I was just joking about force choking a bitch. <laughs> anyway, we get nice establishing shots of the island. And again, how it mirrors it, I love the environment in Empire Strikes Back with Dagobah and Yoda. And I also love the environment here with Luke and Rey training on this island. It is freaking and great and this scene especially now she doesn't need luke to be training her at this point in time because she has used the force already she used the force to gain the advantage and kind of put the the beat down a little bit on kylo ren she used the jedi mind trick on the uh, stormtrooper she used the force to pull the lightsaber to her so this could just be her practicing and um, getting better controlling her powers by herself and again i love how this mirrors the empire strikes empire strikes back a little bit because in that one you have yoda training luke how to lift the the big rocks and then here you have ray lifting the the small pebbles and i love this visually she doesn't have to live a huge big rock to be a badass this visually looks incredible i like that a lot so we see leia here at a command center now i'm thinking the rebels might have been attacked or maybe they're looking for wait a minute let's see sending out troops to attack or maybe they're being attacked and i i think that for a reason coming up now this face reminds me of the eye from the fly i don't know why but every time i look at this i can't stop thinking of the eyeball from the fly right there in the middle uh, i can't see darth vader's mask here i can't see kylo ren's mask kylo ren has a lot of uh, silver on the top and then he's got that flat you know i just don't see it if this is either mask okay fine i'm just not seeing it so you guys let me know whose mask it is or if it is even somebody's mask obviously it's been destroyed somehow and there's broken glass everywhere so what is this is this the vehicle that they made their escape out of because i think this is going to pick up where they left off this looks like a little bookshelf unless this is playing tricks with how big it is I thought this is just a little shelf in a cave and some light was shining in. So you got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like twelve books. 
But now I'm trying to look around it. Is this actually where, I don't know, the, my perception's off. Is this actually something that's huge and that's the floor? Or is that like a little shelf? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. But the reason I said I thought it was a bookshelf is just a little one too. Like that, you know, is just a little shelf on the wall. And this is a book that has some like ancient, you know, scripts in it from the uh, Jedi back in the, the olden days. Now you have uh, Rey and Luke training. She's training with the lightsaber. I really like this. And I think a good chunk of this episode will take place with Rey training on this island. And that's fine. I love it. Establish that. Plus, we need to set up what's coming. Set up some new story. So while we are doing that, we have Ray training with Luke. I'm totally fine with that. That's cool. Here's an awesome image of a clearly drunk, <laughs> drunk driving pilot. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Did he do that on purpose? It looks like everyone's flying and everyone's got it, you know, good. They're letting out this red flare stuff. I think this red might be signaling some other troops to come in. I don't know. I don't see a practical use for this other than to confuse something that's behind them. Maybe if it, it lets off like a giant red smoke, maybe it's harder to see. Maybe this is a signal for others to attack. That's my guess. It's a signal for others to attack. I don't know what it is. If that's in other Star Wars stuff, let us know down in the comment box. Now here's Finn healing in this uh, contraption here. I'm kind of really hoping that he needs to wear some type of device. And I know that might be a little too, too Darth Vader-y, but if he could wear some cool badass device I think that would be awesome I don't know it doesn't have to cover his face or nothing but maybe something some kind of armor on his body maybe something that's still healing him once he's out of the machine that would be cool now BBA and Poe they're running here and since they are seemingly at a rebel base and since they are running and frantic and shit's blowing up and right when they get to his X-wing it blows up I'm thinking the rebel base was attacked and they had no idea it was coming and the reason I say that is because uh, well, here we have the Millennium Falcon kicking ass, and this might be Chewie. It could be Rey. If Rey is having visions of her friends in trouble, the Rebels in trouble, she might want to leave so Chewie could come get her. I don't think Chewie's going to drop her off and then stay there in the Millennium Falcon, you know, while she's training. So he's probably going to go. Shit's going to go bad. He'll come to get her. I don't know now. How the hell is she getting off the island? It doesn't matter. But this is either Chewie or Rey kicking some ass and we see Rey running now if they really want to keep mirroring Empire Strikes Back she could be running to you know an imaginary Kylo Ren they did a scene in the old movie where Luke was fighting Darth Vader and then the face blew up and it was Luke inside and this was just a, a training uh, mission thing it's I yeah it was just for training let's simplify it so this could be a similar thing where she fights Kylo Ren but it's not really Kylo Ren it's just for training anyway we we see Kylo Ren here, no mask, and in the background it's burning. And his lightsaber looks a lot more unstable than it did before. <laughs> but here is what I don't get. You have this burning castle. We just saw Kylo Ren with shit burning behind him. This is R2-D2, and at first I thought, at first glance, I thought that was Luke Skywalker. But now I'm thinking, wait a minute, is that Kylo Ren? Because you have the shoulder pad that looks like Kylo Ren. The hair, the body, the way he kind of trots down i don't know see the reason i said what if it's kylo ren is because look the next shot we see captain phasma now that is cool i love that captain phasma is not dead she got out of the garbage compactor but we got captain phasma it's all burning so it seems like this is taking place in the same area that was just burning wait i i almost take that back right now that area poe was at that exploded that was the rebel base and if you look to the top left of this clip it looks like a doorway of a hangar you know where they have their ships flying in so captain phasma might be leading this attack on the rebel base and if that's Kylo Ren with R2-D2, maybe they take R2-D2 to get the map because they would still be after the map, right? Wait, they took Rey to get the map, but they didn't get the map because he couldn't penetrate. He couldn't penetrate her. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he couldn't force rape her, so he didn't get the map. And then they still need the map because they still want to find the location of Luke Skywalker, maybe, possibly. So they have this attack, this assault on the rebel base that was not expecting them. 
and blow up Poe's ship. Poe has to make some sort of other getaway. Maybe he gets in the Millennium Falcon, you know? Hey, maybe Poe is the one driving the Millennium Falcon. That might be cool. Instead of having Ray do it, Ray's off training. Chewie needs another person. Poe would be a nice stand-in for uh, Han Solo. I'm fine with that. Matter of fact, now I'm getting my hopes up. I think that's a good connection. You have Poe, you have uh, BB-8, and then Chewbacca. And it would kind of be like Han Solo and Chewbacca. And I know it's like a replacement, but still, that'd be cool. Anyway, so I'm thinking they steal R2-D2 or they take R2-D2 and they're using him to find Luke Skywalker still. Now... But what is that other place that was burning, though? What was that castle? Maybe that was some kind of Jedi shrine or something? I don't know. But we have uh, another... We have Star Wars in Star Wars. Wait a minute. You know what I mean. Uh, here's a battle happening in outer space. So, we have the battle in outer space. We have the base that's blowing up. We have this... Uh, castle area that's on fire. Yeah, there's a good amount of action so far from this little teaser. That's promising. And then we got Luke Skywalker at the very end saying the only thing he knows is uh, the, the Jedi's must come to an end or something like that. Which has me a little worried because I love the sound of Jedi. Just as a group, as a name, as a thing, I love that. I don't want it to be like something different. <laughs> I think Jedi is so damn cool. So I'm hoping that's where he is at first and then he changes his mind over the course of time. But it needs to come to an end with Luke. Luke we're, we're finishing out Luke's story. There's no way we can have this movie and then have the next movie and continue on and on with the, the story of Luke Skywalker because of the simple fact that the actor is getting up there in age. This is a reality so you need to close out the story of Luke Skywalker himself you can carry on his legacy you know his family Ray whoever she is to him uh, but you need to end his story specifically so uh, maybe for Luke he's at a place now where he's done with the Jedi I think it would be cool if we went in real deep with the philosophy of the Jedi like it's for, since the very beginning it's always been like uh, the dark side and the light side. Luke even says, no, look deeper or something like that. It, there's more. It's bigger. And it would be awesome if they dive in deep with the philosophy of that, like the light and the dark. Even as like a simple example, them being one and it's it's a, a matter of how much you let enter your, you know what I mean? Like your soul or whatever. That's not what I want them to do. That's just like a little example of go in deep and explain more. I'm really excited for this, but if that is Luke's, because keep in mind, Luke didn't leave the rock when Han was dying when they were blowing up planets when Kylo Ren and the First Order they were pulling shit together Luke when he was younger he had visions of his friends in trouble so on the island he had to have known shit was going down and in a bad way and he didn't leave the island so this is going to be a very different Luke this is not going to be a Luke at least I don't feel like this is not going to be a Luke who's like okay saddle up let's go kick some ass this might be a Luke who doesn't want to fight this might be a Luke who, I don't know, just doesn't want to be involved, but not like he's like, oh, I just want to grow old, leave me out of this, but he could know something, you know what I mean? Something more to it, like, no matter what he wanted to do, there was no stopping what was going to happen to Han Solo, and that's, that's why he didn't go save Han, you know what I mean? Something like that. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to dive in deep with the, the main trailer. I, I don't know when that's going to drop, but it will be soon. This comes out this December. I'm really excited for this. More excited than The Force Awakens. And uh, if you guys want to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment box, definitely feel free. If I missed anything in this trailer, uh, I'm really excited that we're getting the Captain Phasma because she looks like a cool stormtrooper. So I want them to do something... Uh, more, a lot more than what they did in The Force Awakens. Don't Boba Fett her ass. Do something cool with her. Uh, there's just a lot more that I want them to do. I really want the story to uh, detach from the older movies. Mirror it a little bit, but be your own thing. You know what I mean? Go crazy. Do your own thing with the story. Anyway, thoughts and opinions, theories and predictions, put those down in the comment box. I'm done talking, so it's your turn. Subscribe now.